Hey everybody, I've been meaning to make some behind the scenes just for YouTube videos. Um, and so today I'm gonna show you how I made the fire extinguisher from yesterday's video into a flamethrower. So um, it's actually pretty simple, not much to it. So let's get into it. The way these things work is pretty simple. When you squeeze this handle, a valve opens up, releases the pressure, and whatever liquid's inside comes out because this is a liquid um, fire extinguisher instead of the powder fire extinguishers, the usual red ones that are in your kitchen. So this one's different than what you normally have. Um, and it's rechargeable. Take off this whole thing. And this is what does everything. And this is what you fill with water or some fire retardant chemical um, or in our case, gasoline. So we're gonna start testing just with water so I can show you how it works just with water. So I'm gonna fill this up with a hose. After you fill the tank with water, you gotta put this whole valve on, uh, back on, and I just hand tightened it. But you can squeeze it all you want. Um, it's not pressurized, so nothing happens. Then, I said to myself, how am I going to pressurize this thing? Um, I thought I would have to drill a hole and tap it, or find some way to pressurize it. As luck would have it, the tip of this thing fits a standard quarter inch uh, pneumatic fitting. I, I don't know how I lucked out like that. Look at that. So this is just a pneumatic quick connect. And the valve opens and closes. And this is how we're gonna pressurize it. Super simple. So check this out. I just hook up the quick connect valve to the compressor. Um, you gotta open this valve, uh, otherwise the pressure just goes to this hose. And then, boom. Okay. Okay, now check this out. Can you see that? It's literally, it's literally dead on um, right where it's supposed to be charged. So, lucked out again. Um, rarely in life do you get this lucky over and over on one simple project. Um, but now let's see how far this is going to shoot. And there's still a couple other things we got to do um, to figure out the flame part. Okay, so uh, let's see if you can actually see how far this goes. I mean, it goes pretty far. It goes like 20 feet. It shoots water like 20 feet. Okay, so when I was building this, um, for the first video that I used this in, uh, then my next thought was, man, my hand is going to be really close um, to the flames and the gas, and also, how am I going to get like the pilot light on there? So, I found this piece of metal pipe laying around, and that screws right in as well to give me just enough length and somewhere to wrap some cloth and soak it in some flammable liquid. So that's what I did next. So I wrapped a sock and duct taped it around this pipe and I put a little gas on the tip of it. So this is the pilot light. So the gas flows through this pipe and ignites right there. And there you have it. Okay, so now we're gonna fill it with gas and do this uh, all over again, but with flames instead of water.
All right, so let's give it a try. Um, the danger level on this is actually probably higher than most of my videos. So don't try this at home, seriously. So let's go give this a shot. All right, that was fire extinguisher flamethrower uh, behind the scenes. If you want more of these behind the scenes videos, let me know and like and subscribe and all that stuff that everybody else says on this YouTube thing. Um, if you've come over to YouTube from Facebook, I'm only gonna do these behind the scenes on YouTube because they're too long for Facebook. Um, so subscribe to the YouTube to get both the uh, short videos and the longer in-depth videos. This was fire extinguisher flamethrower super stupid and dangerous. I don't think I even need to say don't try this at home because it's pretty obvious. Um, so thanks for watching.